get started. I feel like Kabi Kushi Kabi Gam ka character right now. This was so in back in the days, like Halter, like Glitter, Manish Malhotra, Jazz. Hi, you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Simi. I hope you guys remember me. I know I haven't posted anything for a week now. I am sort of going through a creative block right now. Like, my brain literally says no. Like when I want to sit down and write content or like, you know, even plan my content for YouTube, my brain just goes blank. So yeah, I am going through that phase where I'm like really taking it slow because I do not want to like push myself to the limit where I feel burnt out. So uh, I'm going to be posting only this video uh, for this week. It's a Diwali video just to wish you guys a very happy Diwali from my end. And then I'm going to be taking like the rest of the few days of the week off and I'm going to get back to YouTube properly from Tuesday. So I hope you guys are okay with that and I hope you guys still remember me when I'm back like please don't forget me you know what I mean Please. So today's video is a very old school sit down, get ready with me for Diwali. Grab all of your makeup and your brushes and everything and just like sit down with me. Let's just chit chat and do our makeup. So yeah, without wasting any more time, let's get started. Also, if you're new here, hi, I'm Simi. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also give this video a big thumbs up. What's <laughs> I can't even call mom. It's like 10 30 in the night, she's already sleeping. Okay, I think I'll just not drink water. So, as you can tell, I've sort of switched my normal setup because I wanted to have like flowers behind me when I'm doing my makeup tutorial because it's for Diwali, you know what I mean? Like, it has to have the essence of Diwali and everything. So, we've put up some props behind just so you guys get the feel. Um, and I am legit too lazy right now to get up and get anything because I'm like, my throat is so dry right now, but I'm not getting up. That's the level of lazy I am and my mom's already sleeping otherwise I would have just like called for it <laughs> But anyway, so uh, I'm gonna be using the Belief Numero 10 Essence because that's legit the only thing closest to moisturizer that I have around me and I, I have a lot of things around me, okay, like literally a lot of things around me But no moisturizer only an essence. So I'm gonna use this and sort of moisturize my face with it I have no idea why I use so much. That's a lot of essence. That is a lot of essence. Moving on, I'm gonna be using the Becca Backlit Primer. This is one of my favorite illuminating primers out there. It is also uh, a bit of a color correct. I love what this primer actually does to your skin. You know, like I love the glow on its own. Like if I have to like just step outside looking all dewy and like glowy, I think this primer is it like because it sort of like evens out your skin tone and also adds glow hashtag non-sponsored with this primer there's always a bit of a scope to use another silicone based primer because uh my pores like this this area really needs like extra filling because they're huge like my pores are like huge so i'm gonna use the nika what was it nika prep me up face primer i'm just gonna like add additional layer of primer to my t-zone just guessing like i could be wrong but i think people won't be as decked up for diwali this year but i think you still want to look a bit photo ready right like if you if you just want to like click yourself for 2020 diwali because 2020 diwali bro if you made it till diwali i mean you deserve it you deserve a photograph for sure moving on to my foundation you guys i'm going to be using my current favorite color bar foundation this is the 24 hours weightless foundation they've launched 30 new shades in this one I mean, the entire collection is only new, but uh, I think I've spoken about it a couple of times. Again, non-sponsored, but it's a very good foundation. I don't even have my blender, you guys. All of the signs are just pointing at me to get up, get my ass out of here and get my stuff. But you know what? I'm going to improvise and I'm going to use a brush. The that I've used right now is 5.3. And... Yeah, I think this one is a pretty decent match. How's the Diwali prep coming along, you guys? For me, it's uh, it's been good, actually, you know? Honestly, I'm glad that there is work. And, um, you know, Diwali's been hectic. It's been nice. It's not lazy or it's not, like, chill or anything. And I like things to be a little hectic, you know, to be honest. Like, it's, it's nice when you have work and it's nice when you're keeping yourself busy. All of the negative thoughts and all of the bad thoughts actually are just blocked with all of the work that you've got to do. Most of you guys already know my brother actually just got his knee surgery done because he had a ligament tear. So we won't really be able to do much this Diwali because even dad's not home, he's coming in December. So probably something for New Year's. 
but not for Diwali for sure. You just might go to Gurudwara, come home, keep our doors open in the evening so that Lakshmi can come in. <laughs> a lot of people actually play cards and everything, but uh, we don't really have that tradition. And honestly, I don't even know how to play cards, so I'd be really bad at playing cards. The only card game that I knew how to play was Bhabi, which my cousins actually taught me, and I used to lose at that as well. So. I'm really glad that we don't really play cards because I'd be losing left, right, and center. My concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Age Rewind in the shade Sand. And I'm just going to like sort of brighten up my T zone with this. So lazy today, you guys. Like, I'm so lazy. I can't even. I just don't want to do anything, you know. I really need a vacation. This is like my body telling me that, bitch, you need a vacation. I think you should just like pack your bags and leave. And you know, just like forget about everything else, just like go. You need to be by the beach, you need to be sipping beer by the beach, and like soaking up some sun. That's what you need right now, you know. And I can feel it, like I can feel it in my gut. Also, I think I have to get up and get a blender because this is not working. I don't know if it's like the Scorpio season or what, but of late I have been feeling a bit low. Like, not like low, low, as in like low low but i just feel like it's in the air you know whoever i talk to they all look very happy on the outside but they're all like a little like sad or like probably feeling a bit like blah on the inside and i think i don't know what it is but if you're feeling lonely if you're feeling like you know like really blah like you know what i mean um it's okay, you know that, you know, it's all temporary, so it's all gonna pass anyway, we're all going through it. And it's also because of Corona, I think all of us have just had it, like, I've had it. I'm like, bro, it's one year already now, please, it's time, like, just go. You've been living a life a certain way and then suddenly, because of this pandemic, everything changes. It will affect your mental health, it will affect your, you know, your general state of being. Don't go too harsh on yourself about anything because I think everybody is dealing with their own shit and you need to just like learn to be in control of your feelings and try and be very conscious about uh, where your thoughts are heading. If you feel like your thoughts are heading in the negative, you know, direction, try and consciously bring it back and be like, okay, kuch galat nahi ho raha life mein. it's all good. If you've got food on the table, if you've got family, everything is good. Don't really stress too much and everything else will fall in place. Don't worry about it, okay? Moving on, I'm going to be using the Sugar Cosmetics Contour Stick and I'm just going to like sort of contour my face. Try and hide all of that Diwali fat that I've gained. Like put on 3-4 kgs. And I'm not worried about it, to be honest. Like, I know I will sort of get back in shape. I will lose all of that weight. Um, I will work out and all that. But I'm sort of enjoying this thick phase, you know? Like, I'm enjoying the thickness. Next up, you guys, I'm gonna be using my Pack Cosmetics Translucent Setting Powder. I'm gonna just, like, dip my blender directly into this. It's been a while since I used this powder, in fact. Moving on you guys, for my blush today I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown uh, blush in the shade Nectar. It's a very beautiful, very soft rosy colour. I'm loving what this blush has done to my skin. Look at that, it's so pretty. Like, what was I saying? Yeah, so I was talking about being lonely, if you feel like you don't have friends, if you feel like Oh my god, life has become so blah and everything. Yeah, so you're not like the only one. Everybody is going through it. And it's just a phase, you know, for all of us. In fact, like every person right now is going through it. I've spoken to you guys about this before as well, that sometimes it's good to also talk about someone else's issues. Like understand what your friends are going through. And that's just gonna like deepen the bond, you know, like be it friends, be it family, be it your partner, be it whoever, like unless you listen and i hate it like i don't like when people actually just cut someone off or they don't uh, give their inputs or you know they automatically start telling about their issues before the other person has even completed or finished with you know whatever problems that they're facing with i feel like that's really a sign of ignorant people and Honestly, I can't deal with those because I know, I remember at one point I was this person, like I was exactly this person. I would not let my friends speak. I would not let them uh, say anything. Like I would not even bother with what was going on in their life until last year when my friends legit had an intervention. And when I say an intervention, they, they literally ganged up against me. Like they all ganged up on me and they were like, bro, 
like you have been about yourself all your life like mere life mein ye issue hai wo hai ye hai wo hai mera ye hua wo hua and you don't even know what's going on in our lives you know and until then i was so oblivious i was like so ignorant about whatever like you know i never really bothered because i used to be all absorbed into myself i was angry i was embarrassed and i was like bro you know what abhi se to main inke sath kuch bhi share nahi karungi you know like i'm not going to tell you anything about my life, my life or what's going on and everything you guys deserve that and then when the anger actually cooled down i realized that they had a point and i legit did not know what was going on in their life okay and since then the transformation has been insane like in my life i have become a very good listener in fact i call up people just to listen to their issues like now i'm like this listener like i am sometimes amazed like i am amazed at myself how extreme of a person i can become like i am either this side or that side i'm never in between like i can never balance things out ever to feel like your friends are acting weird just think why are they acting weird probably because you haven't been a good friend to them for the sake of your mental health for the sake of their mental health i think it's important that you always be there for your friends you know because if you are not there for your friends today nobody will be there for you when you need them so i don't know when i don't know ye video get ready with me se gyan video ka ban gaya but i i'm just like sort of sharing my life experiences also because i won't be posting the sunday video even this weekend i'm just like trying to make up for it okay just been thinking which one should i go for i think i'm going to go with the two faced palette because it's got some really nice mauvey shades Ow! The reason I don't use this palette a lot is because there's a lot of fallout on the pan. Although the pigment and everything is like really amazing, but the fallout, you guys, is like insane. So I'm gonna like start tapping the product on the outer corners. Next, I'm gonna switch my brush to something smaller that can fit my inner corner really well. and i'm going to apply that shade on my inner corner and create that halo it's going to cut my crease from the center because that's just going to sort of like intensify the halo a bit more now i'm going to go in with this shade right here It's a nice shimmery shade. Okay, that is applying so well with my finger. I love this pinky goldenish um shade. I feel like it's really perfect for the outfit that I'm wearing. I love my shade selection, you guys. So good. I was just testing some lashes before I popped them on and this one I really love. It's just that unfortunately, I don't know what brand these lashes are. I'm pretty sure these are So now to line my lips, I'm using the Nykaa Lips Don't Lie Chocolate Boy. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this lipstick by Bobbi Brown. It's in the shade Neutral Rose, and I feel like it's going really well with this outfit. And the vibe is like really nice, soft gold, uh, soft rose. that you guys this is it for diwali this year this is my glam up for diwali i hope you guys liked it i really love how the entire look actually came together really glamorous easy to do i think even beginners can do it like at least give it a try let me know what you think about it also wish you all a very happy diwali i know things have not been going the way we planned it to but there is another side to look at as well be more grateful and try and feel more blessed and trust me it's all going to just like double up and come back to you so wish you all a very happy diwali once again and don't burst a pataka be a pataka also if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel before you leave and with that i will see you guys next tuesday i'm not going to be posting this sunday i'm really sorry i'm taking a break you guys so yeah with that it's a wrap i'll see you guys tuesday